Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and uh, before I start the explanation on this topic which I have written on the board, let me first thank my audience, my viewers and students who are watching my lecture videos on topics on operating systems, computer networks, computer networks lab experiments using the Cisco packet tracer and after that I, sh I was receiving several messages and emails to start the lecture video series on analysis and design of algorithms. So I have started this series but I will not be sure that I will be able to complete within a short uh, span of 3 or 4 months. It may take time as I have a full time job and it is uh, quite difficult for me to make videos back to back within a short duration of time. So, But I will try my level best to cover maximum topics on this subject. And also uh, I wanted to tell you this subject, the analysis and design of algorithms is a core subject in several institutions and universities and it is very important subject from the placement point of view and for competitive exams. Any textbook you refer but the most two popular books are an uh, introduction to algorithms by Corman and uh, introduction to design and algorithms by Levitin. So these are the two popular books. So these two books are only mainly prescribed by different universities in their academic curriculum. Mainly you start with the introduction for this subject and then you have the different methodologies that are used to design the algorithms. Since there are several methodologies, each of the methodologies is described under, under each chapter. So let us start first with the introduction for this subject. The title of the course is Analysis and Design of Algorithms. In a few universities it is Design and Analysis of Algorithms. It means the same. So here in this session I shall first introduce this subject. In the introduction part I will tell you about the definition for this subject. I shall tell you about the differences between the program and the algorithm. I shall tell you about the characteristics of algorithm. So if I am asking the definition for this algorithm word, so no, very quickly all of us will say it is a sequence of instructions that are used to perform a particular task or particular job or people may say step by step instructions that are followed to perform a particular job or task. So this is what is the definition we always tell in uh, a very simple way or we can say that this is the most popular definition all of us know. But what exactly is the definition which is going to cover even the characteristics of an algorithm? So that is very nicely defined in the textbook. So I am I'm basically trying to cover the contents from the textbook. It need not be that every word or every sentence I may take from this book. Ultimately the topic matters, the concept matters. So I will be referring Corman and other books, other sources as well in order to explain you the topics of this subject. Mainly my idea is to make you understand and also my aim is to make things very simpler here in the explanation. Many of the students feel that it, this subject requires more effort but I will make sure that I will make things very simpler and easy for you all to understand and write the examinations well. So let me uh, tell you about the definition which is given in the textbook. An algorithm is a sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a problem that is for obtaining a required output for any legitimate input in a finite amount of time. So if you look at this definition, it, this definition covers the different characteristics also of an algorithm. I will just write uh, in this manner the characteristics. I will write the heading as input first and then I will write it as output. Basically why I have written input and output is one thing you should be knowing that you are going to give an algorithm to the computer but unless you give the input you are not going to get the output. So these two are first the important parameters that are required here in order to complete an algorithm. The word here unambiguous is used for that I can write definiteness and also if I am writing one more parameter finiteness finiteness is also mentioned here in the definition finite amount of time i'll write effectiveness i'll write one more characteristic here effectiveness also i'll write another characteristic called as feasible so if you just see here what is that i have done i have written the characteristics of an algorithm first one is input output definiteness finiteness effectiveness and feasible so these characteristics are covered in this definition only. So, that is why I say that this definition is giving the correct meaning for an algorithm. For any algorithm you require zero or more inputs, fine. This is what is the first um, characteristic. Definitely when you are writing an algorithm, so what for you are writing an algorithm? You are writing an algorithm so that you will get an output. Now at least one output is expected. 
and all these uh, characteristics I can relate it with an analogy. Algorithm is a step by step instruction in order to carry out a task. So that particular task can be anything. In our everyday life around us, surrounding us, whatever task is being carried out like for example in our college students are carrying out experiments in chemistry lab that is also a step by step procedure students are carrying out experiments in the physics lab it is also a step by step procedure people use a recipe in order to make a cooking dish so when they prepare the dish it is also a step by step procedure so when we say that these are the different uh, step by step procedures to perform a task for each of these tasks you are giving some input so whether it is a in physics lab, you are giving some input for chemistry, some input for cooking, you are giving some ingredients. So that way you are trying to use this. That way uh, we are trying to say that yes, uh, this step by step procedure requires input. And output is definitely needed because when do you carry out an experiment, finally you are expecting some output. Even when you are preparing a dish, when you are showing all these step by step procedure to prepare a dish, ultimately you are going to get one dish here. Okay, That is what is the output. Definiteness is, definiteness is what unambiguous. So unambiguous there should not be any uh, confusion in any of the statements for which you are writing an algorithm. The algorithm should have steps which are giving exactly one meaning. So it should be very clear, there should not be any ambiguity. If you want the algorithm to make use of only positive numbers, then you are going to write that in the recipe also for any cooking dish. If it is mentioned as take some uh, 100 grams of milk, then very clearly it should be mentioned whether it is a cold milk or warm milk or the normal milk. Most of the channels uh, when they are talking about the <coughs> recipe and especially when it comes to salt, they say use salt as per Swadhanusar. Uh, Swadhanusar is also an ambiguous word. Actually, you cannot say like that. Instead, it should be mentioned as take some 50 grams or 10 grams of salt. This is what is the definiteness. Finiteness is there. It okay, the algorithm should stop. You should have certain steps in the algorithm, but it should be finite. Your algorithm is never ending. It has got steps and it is keep on executing, executing, executing. It is never coming to an end. See, we are writing an algorithm here, not any service if it is a service then the web server will be running all the time fine if it is a database server it is running all the time but here this is not a service it is an algorithm it is a program to perform a job and it should have its end so you have to write a statement in the algorithm wherein the algorithm will stop after this particular condition so that is very much needed effectiveness is also very much required in the algorithm you are not going to write any variables any constants which you are not making use at all. If, suppose in the algorithm if you are writing any variable read z but z variable is not used at all anywhere in the algorithm. If at all I have to tell about the analogy in the cooking channel uh, if you are showing some ingredients to the audience but you are not making use of it while preparing then we say it is not at all effective. So that should be avoided. Feasible is also very much this is an important characteristic of the algorithms. You are writing an algorithm, finally you are going to implement it. The programmer will implement and try to execute it. So unless and until you know that yes, this algorithm will work under certain infrastructure, existing infrastructure, then you can proceed with that. Fine. Unless and until you, you don't have that infrastructure, you don't have that computational device at all, you don't have the software requirement, you don't have the hardware requirement and you are preparing this algorithm, then what is the use of it? So these are the different characteristics, that's the reason I am telling you, this definition is almost covering these characteristics also. So that is why I said I am telling you to follow this definition or write this definition in the exam or test. Next comes the See, when we, are right, when we say that an algorithm is a step-by-step -step instruction to perform a particular task, then program is also a step-by-step -step instruction to perform a particular task. But what is the difference between the program and algorithm? That you should be knowing. So, I will tell you about the difference between the program and algorithm. First thing is, while writing an algorithm, we are not dependent on any language. We don't have to worry that we should be knowing so and so computer programming language. Need not be. Just use any language. Any language here is English language or you can make use of the mathematical notation also. So an algorithm can be written using any language. But to write the program, definitely you require a programming language. One more main important difference is algorithm is like it is like a design type. Suppose when you are constructing a building, you first make a design of that. That means you are going to completely draw the sketch of that in dimensions you are drawing uh, what do you say that is the plan here also in the algorithm the steps what you are writing okay that is like a design 
of any particular project and the program which is getting executed is like an implementation of a project so we can say that yes algorithm is you are designing the algorithm but program is what it is like in the implementation while writing an algorithm you are not worried about the computational device you can write the algorithm on a sheet of paper okay on uh, even on the machine you can write you can make use of the notepad you can make use of the ms word and start writing so you don't have to worry about the specifications of that machine you are you don't have to worry about the software or the hardware side of the machine so we say that it is independent of any software and hardware but when you are implementing that definitely you should see that whatever algorithm is there whether on which machine you are executing that program whether it is supporting whether the hardware is supporting whether the software that is the operating system is supporting or not so you should be worried about the hardware and the operating system some uh, programs you can run on uh, windows operating system some programs you can run on linux operating system only so depending on that you have to select the operating system that's why we say programs dependency is there then next so this is what design software and apart from this you should also be having the knowledge that means a person who is writing an algorithm should have the knowledge of that particular application i mean to say see finally the algorithm is getting converted into a code code is written by a programmer but the programmer has collected uh, information from a person who is having the knowledge of that particular domain if you want a, an application in the accounting section then a person working in the accounting section can give you the complete details of that application if you are making an application for the hospital then people working in the hospital can give you the complete information so that means uh, for an algorithm to be written a person should have that particular uh, field knowledge subject knowledge or the domain knowledge now once the algorithm is ready how do you decide that this is an efficient algorithm so whenever you have to decide the efficiency of an algorithm you have to test the algorithm on two different parameters one is time and another is space which you will be learning in detail in my future lecture videos presently you just uh, remember in one word that you are analyzing this as the name indicates analysis of algorithms is there the title of the course is design and analysis of algorithms you are designing the algorithms as well you are analyzing the algorithm so in analyzing you are mainly concentrating on two different efficiencies one is the time efficiency and another is the space efficiency so that you will be doing so i can write down here in one word you are carrying out the analysis of an algorithm so it is basically what to check the performance of an algorithm similarly when you write the program even there also you need to check whether your program is working properly or not for that you have to carry out what testing so with testing you will come to know you will be giving all different instances instances here is what the different uh inputs to the program the program is working on all legitimate inputs so that is what you say that you will be carrying out the testing so that's it in this video and if you find this session helpful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care